prepare yourselves. That's what they told us anyways. Nobody trusted us over here. They felt we hadn't given our share. We were the Americans. Doughboys. They said, you hadn't earned your keep. They called us unskilled, undisciplined, and untested. We could hear the whispers around us as we waited, silently, biding our time. Our chance to prove ourselves, however, came too early. And so, with our flying machines, we took to the blue sea of sky surrounding us to win the hearts and minds of our allies. My name is 2nd Lieutenant Chastley, and this was my first combat sortie. The sky beckoned my fellow aviators and I. It called to us like a siren to a Greek sailor. It wasn't that we just wanted to fly. We chose to fly out of pure passion. What we were not prepared for was the price we would pay. We had orders to intercept any recon flights over the front, and it didn't take us long to spot one. We closed the gap, and I edged forward with my wingman. I got close, I prayed, then I squeezed the trigger. The hot bullets shred through my enemy's canvas wings as pieces of their plane dashed through the sky. With one final burst of fire, their plane dipped towards the earth below, and I pulled hard and away. Lieutenant Schumacher was engaging the other plane, but its gunner's aim was true. A final act of defiance, he rolled his plane over and aimed it one last time. During the skirmish, we hadn't noticed the enemy planes closing in from the east. We turned to meet them, our guns ablaze. Chaos ensued and bullets filled the air. I doggedly pursued my enemy and then silence. I had been hit in my chest, but I continued the chase. His plane shuddered and turned earthbound. I had waited too long pulled up and hard to the left, but my time had come. My name was 2nd Lieutenant Chastley. This was my first and last combat sortie. Our allies never again questioned our willingness to fight.